but it's a good day when you see the Mini Cooper in the garage. I'm gonna basically walk you through on how we actually install the wide body on the cars that we've done in the past. The first thing you wanna do is align it, get the wide body perfect fitment, OCD. You only get to do it once, it'll really suck to do it twice. And then from there, we take the wide body back off with the holes that we've created. And then we do the nut inserts, which we're trying a new one. We're using rubber nut inserts. After that, you get to cut into the car and cut the old fenders off. It's probably one of my favorite parts. For that guy. So hopefully you already saw us unbox this thing once. We kind of pulled it apart, taped it on the car. We know what it looks like and we know none of the parts are broken. It is ABS plastic, easy to repair, and super durable. If it was fiberglass, it probably wouldn't be here today after flying out of a truck on the highway. But crazy. There's a lot of pieces to this kit. The biggest thing what I want to do personally to start is I want to go through every wide body piece and drill the holes. Once we get the wide body taped on it exactly where we want it, we don't want to be drilling a hole through this in the car because it can create it to slide around. He's pretty much done drilling all the holes on all the wide body bits. We are going to be taping it on the car and then we take a little self tapper screw like so and we just go ahead and self tap the whole wide body kit on there. But you only need like four or five per panel. From there you drill all your holes around the fender. You take the wide body off, you drill those holes just a little bit bigger and then depending on if you're using nut inserts or a nut, like we're gonna use nut inserts on the back fenders and then just nuts on the front. Just put the wide body on. It's really not that much two wide body kits. I don't know. We decided to jack up the car because we're gonna have to put bolts like on the side skirts and everything. It makes it a little bit easier. And we probably won't put it back on the ground until the fenders are cut off and we can actually put this thing and drive it around. up on Amazon and then I got the washers but it's just stainless steel hardware nothing fancy but it looks super clean and it's, it's really small you know I use that big bulky wide body hardware that they sell online for five bucks a piece but I think it was pretty fresh and again we're using rubber nut inserts so if you don't know what a rubber nut insert is they're a lot bigger than the metal ones but you don't require a tool the benefit of these is say the the body is here and you're trying to place the bolt maybe at a little bit of an angle, the threads will fix itself and it'll start going as an angle. Hey, 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 I forgot to mention. Do you remember the rear diffuser we created back like two years ago in the, the YouTube channel? We never actually made it. We still have the template, but we still have the bumper we cut up. But I don't think I'm gonna use that actual template we used. We might recreate it to make it even crazier to go with the wide body. This thing's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Oh. 
So now we got the actual self tappers in. These will come out, they're temporary. But all the ones we did not do self tappers, like that, like that, like that one. We're drilling little holes. This is not the right size hole, but at least when we take the wide body off, we will know where the holes are to drill them bigger to put the nut inserts. So we'll fly through this, won't take long at all. Now we just gotta cut the fenders off and clear, make clearance, we gotta make room. Once we cut the fender off, we'll be able to place this back in its original spot where it's supposed to go, and we'll be able to drill a hole through that into that. Right now I can't get a drill bit on there, I can't get a bolt on there because this fender is actually in the way. Once that's done, we'll be able to make sure the fender and the side skirt line up perfectly, and then I will permanently mount the side skirt from that point. So right now, we're kind of just delaying away from that. I love cutting up cars. I mean, if you've ever heard me talk in the past, that's one of my favorite things, so let's do it. Yeah, make sure you get your safety first. Man. So we did uh, put two bolts and nuts on the actual side skirt and the fender because if you don't, it's not really like attached, attached. Like, it's the, it's the only way, just know that. I mean, you could do it other ways, but that is gonna be super solid. The only time you'd ever be pulling off that side skirt is when you're pulling off the over fender to maybe repaint the car or rewrap it. So why not just attach them? All right, all right, all right. With the stainless hardware is on, and again, the side skirt has not gone anywhere other than 3M tape, but once the front's bolted down as well, um, it's not like this car's really going to do over 110. Or will it? Race car? More power, baby. More power, baby. Sheesh. Sheesh. Looking good. Uh, we still gotta cut up this bumper, just like the last one. We had the old bumper that we did cut up, but it was super warped. We decide against it, we'll just cut another perfectly good bumper because, I mean, I guess why not? The front bumper has a gap where I put my whole pinky in it. So you know what has a gap in it? Oh, a Y body kit. So. You'll see what that looks like here in a minute. It's not bad, but it's not good, and we'll, we'll have to mess with the adjustment and try to tighten it all up. Did we not, did we not screw this together last time? Did we not salt out these? Yeah, we did. And that drew the hole bigger, man. Quit with that word. Look. What word, man? Boy, it's, it's not, not stopping. It's not going on there. That's perfect, man. Here, I got you, man. Hey. What what do you think about the uh, the Toyota Corolla TRDs, the hatchbacks, the manuals? They make a Corolla Apex as dope, but the hatchback, I don't think they make an Apex, and the hatchback is a super dope one. They come in manual though. Uh, Alex had one, he misses one. You, is there a nut on there? Yeah, they do come in manual, but they're, I haven't seen one in two years. We can order it though, right? Maybe not like right now, but yeah. we can order it, right? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> cool. So, I think the camera be... What are you doing? Look at all <laughs> Sturdy. She's like a fat girl. Uh, this is gonna be the same concept where we use self tappers, and the next time we pull it off, we'll put nuts and bolts on it. 
I mean, we don't really have much of a choice because I can't get underneath that either. Yeah. That's it. Why It'd be nice if we had like I a piece of like metal that we do. I got some at work we can get. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. Just basically two little holes. Yeah. Uh, an inch half long. Yeah. It doesn't all I can machine some. Or the subtractor screw me. I know what screws are, I just don't know what they do. Hello, pretty. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. Hello, mate. Player plays off me or something. I'm about to make you something. So close. That went all past that, mate. Oh, where is the thingy, man? What? I'm dead. Wow, Every day is like this. Wow. No. Allergy season be like. We like what? Door open. Are we good? No, I didn't go deep. Yeah, you all the way through that. You gotta go deep, sir. Go, through. go back in. Go back in the hole. Just the tip. And make sure you don't wiggle it because it's just like it's the perfect size. So if you wiggle it, it'll get too loose. So straight in, straight out. Straight in, straight out. Got it. There you go. Oh, in there. Watch your head. That's that's sharp. Cause I know how you you don't ever grind anything. That is not smooth at all. You are all. You are widening that hole way out, my guy. That is way loose now. Bro. Bro. When she says it's her first time. Well, back to PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need you to weld six holes. I got this. <laughs> What's that made of? That's made of material. <laughs> we got the uh, Y body pretty much completely installed in, well, you're not gonna like me. So we are definitely gonna put wheels on this thing. Like, I promise you. And we have hubs and tricks on the current wheels to the the car, and we tried buying some for the, the new. Okay, here's what I'm gonna show you. We have some two and a half inch spacers for a Dodge Neon that will fit this thing, because it's the bolt pattern. The actual hub, the centric, it does not work. So we're a little bit off. I, Cameron's gonna probably just drive it home to a couple car shows. New wheels will be here eventually. But basically, another situation is the last video. You remember it? Yes. We were trying to get two inch spacers and 175 on one of the other sides. The point, they don't make them. They only make two and a half for Dodge Neo. So we got two and a half inch spacers, we're putting them on, and that will probably make the wheel poke a little bit like how it did before. So we had to cut off the fenders just a little bit and cut all the plastic out of the factory fenders because it was already super aggressive. And it's gonna be super aggressive again with the over fenders. It's gonna be crazy. Man. So the only problem we're really having right now is the bumper. The fitness is barely off. You can pull it out, but then it pokes right here. But to be fair, the whole bumper the fitness pretty god awful. Like I actually use a uh, nut and two washers to just lift it up closer to the fender because that gap I could put all my fingers through. Dude, it's looking good. And we've already had a long day. We did not think we we're gonna go this far. We thought we were just saying self tap the Y body on and move on. <laughs> These things are so crazy, dude. Uh, so look at the fitment on the driver's side. It's just like I said, about the same as it was before the wide body. The rear, dude. This fitment is gonna be crazy, low key. She, <laughs> ding boy, hot boy here. I think I need to lower it a little bit more if I can. That's if I can. By the way, guys, like fitment is insane. But also, like this, it is not gonna come off. 
Even the front is like super tight. Dude! How did you lower it a whole ass inch in the front and it still looked like it's the same? But that's perfect because like you literally can't. You still want to be able to turn. Yeah, it and remember your your frame is really low. That, like, that's enough. To go lower, I would do air. I might adjust it and make sure they're even. But golly, man. <laughs> One of 10 in the world, white as crap. <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, it looks so cool. Yeah. Only took one day. Oh, yeah. One day. One day work. Wow. And what's even crazier is most cars, when you go wide, even with your wheel not being such an aggressive offset, when you turn, it rubs your firewall, and there's, there's no rub. No, we're good. You guys here just great. You want to get on that? You want to look at it? Yeah, go ahead and turn. Zero rub, and you clear it like Full lock right there. You clear it plenty too. That's awesome, dude. So then you go this way. You're tight, tight. You're really tight. So here, here we might need to clear just a little bit. But God, wait. And now so you cut holes. We're not done, but we're done for today. It's on the ground. It's looking crazy. This is hot boy right here. I've always wanted to buy this car, and Cameron, give me an offer. Seven dollars right now. <laughs> it's so good, dude. That's a lot done in one day, and that wraps up today's video. I hope I'll see you guys the next time. Make sure if you like this content, go ahead and push that subscribe button, like the video, and go ahead and share it to your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Throw it here, man. Throw it here, man. Throw it here, man. Hey, hey. Goddamn fingers, mate. Goddamn, man. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, shit.